all happy morning to all of my dear friends my today's topic is application of schrodinger equation to two electron system it is quite different we are generally seen that application of schrodinger equation for a one particle system that is hydrogen but now we have to see for a two electron system so what is it this is the simple index and uh, this is simple index which we have to see in whole slide that is history of schrodinger equation image of schrodinger that is great scientist then what is schrodinger equation what is its use application for a two electron system that is the main topic and then reference and all so history of a schrodinger equation what is schrodinger equation is a linear partial differential equation it consists of a derivative and generally it is used in a quantum mechanical system to gives the position of a particle what is the history erwin schrodinger that is the great scientist who discovered this equation in 1925 it is published in 1926 and he got a nobel prize for this in 1933 and this is beautiful image of this great scientist so now what is the schrodinger equation it can say it can uh, consist of a dab square psi by dab x square plus 8 pi square m upon x square in bracket e minus v is equal to c0 dab square is a double derivative x is a position of a particle then uh, h square is a height m is a mass then e is a kinetic energy v is a potential uh, potential energy and psi is a wave function now use of a schrodinger equation it's a very simple it gives the position of a particular particle in a particular space by schrodinger equation that is by wave function there are various use that the time independent equation use <coughs> sorry time dependent equation used to uh, discover the progressive wave and time independent uh, equation used generally for the standing waves now application of a schrodinger particle to the actual our equation actual our topic that is a two electron system so we can easily find the probability of a two particle first particle at a psi into x1 y1 z1 that are the three coordinates for second particle psi2 is a x2 y2 z2 that are the third coordinates here below you can see the under there is one equation that is the hamiltonian operator into psi is equal to eigen value into psi we have to solve this equation it's very uh, easy how to solve this hamiltonian operator it's a just simple sum of two hamiltonian operator h1 plus h2 so what is the value of h1 that is h square upon 2m that is minus h square upon 2m into laplace shear square operator plus v1 into r1 into uh, sorry plus into h square upon 2m square into laplace shear square plus v2 into r2 here we have to consider that two particles are not reacting which are not reacting they are behave as a individually but their potential energy are different and two particle that is the helium helium as our element to calculate the uh, potential energy there is a formula you can see this now we have to consider about the what is the wave function what is the value of a wave function if the product of a wave function with r1 r2 it will get individual formation that is psi1 into r1 operator into psi2 into r2 operator now we have to use this two equation in our first main equation that is hamiltonian operator into wave function is equal to eigen value into wave function if you put this whole value we will get the last equation in this way we have to solve the eigen value uh, then hamiltonian operator and we know the energy of a eigen value is given by e is equal to e1 plus e2 if you find the if you want to value for a multi electron system then we can also find you can see the equation below that is psi into r1 r2 and rn rn indicates the uh, energy rn uh, indicates the the value for a multi electron system but now we are dealing with a two electron system here is a value of a energy which is deals with the eigen value we have already seen that e is equal to e1 plus e2 but i want to consider one main thing in helium both the electrons act as a non reacting so each electron behave as a hydrogenic at hydrogenic level each electron works as a hydrogen and we know that the schrodinger equation is easily apply for one electron system so this is the simple application very important application how to calculate the energy of a two electron system if we consider two electron which are not reacting so value of a energy is equal to 13.6 square 6z square upon n square n is equal to number uh, n is equal to number of a particle if we put the value in our derivation e is equal to e1 plus e2 so there is a common thing that is minus 13.6z square into 1 upon n square plus 1 upon n square we have to put the value of only n that is n1 and n2 so we get finally value minus 109 electron volt that is the very important that is the value of a two electron system we can find the position of a two electron system here easily we get easily this derivation and this is the main application of a schrodinger equation for a two electron system 
So this is the last equation. This is the very important equation. If you see the Hamiltonian value of Hamiltonian operator, there is an addition of a two Hamiltonian operator for a two particle, and that is the final value. So you can use this equation to find the particular position of a two electron system. Now the reference, these are the many good references which uh, I have used, which really helped me to do, the, uh, do this work. That is BK Sen, quantum chemistry, AK Chandra, introductory quantum chemistry, and RK Prasad, that is also quantum chemistry. So I would like to thanks to Kamre sir that they had given chance to me present this slide in front of you and I would like to say thank you to our principal sir and vice principal sir that they had also given chance to represent or collect the knowledge of a physical chemistry which will definitely beneficial in our future. Thank you very much. Be safe.